The issue of access to good books is a real one. You may have the desire for your children to read, but how do they access the books? We run, amongst many other things, a children's library for children aged 4 to 14. It's a mobile library. We started the foundation in 2019 as a physical location, but in 2020, when the pandemic happened, uh, all children were home for those two years. We started delivering the books to the children's homes. One of the things that we have experienced in this industry is how truly expensive books are. Sometimes the shipping costs much more than the books. We've been able to buy children's books by Ugandan authors, but now our kids get to read about Mpererwe, about Kampala, about places that they know and not just places that they hear about, places that they may never get to. They see children that have their same skin tone. They see children that are talking about fruits and food and things that are in Uganda. One of the things that we look forward to doing is working with schools to be their library and also to set up book clubs. In As you know, a lot of these schools shut down during the pandemic. The vision we have here at Teach for Uganda also stems from the foundation that we believe a great teacher is not just a teacher, is actually a steward of the world's most precious resource, which are our children. We have an MOU with the Ministry of Education. So in all government-aided schools, as you know, UPE or Universal Primary Education allowed all children to come. Yeah. Because of that, there is shortage of teachers. So that's where mostly we place our two fellows who teach basically numeracy and literacy at P1 and P2. Here we ask one simple question. Reflect on that one teacher who, who actually saved you in a time when you were feeling very yes, bad. Yes. How did you feel when that teacher held your arm and said, yes. come? come. And so when you remember that memory, you're like, real. I have to say. That's a memory we all forget. Yes, we forget our teachers. But when you get this opportunity, there is a time where you feel like, wow, I think I also need someone who will say, because of teacher Edgar, Edgar. I continue this in my education. Good. Government builds the skeleton, and for us, we are that reinforcing need or the, the, the system that is there to support. Yeah. Now, enrollment in some of those schools, you can find a classroom of 300 children, 150. If we could get these young Ugandans who care deeply about that child, maybe we could change the future. They work with their parents, they work with the community, they work with the headmaster to improve the learning outcomes. At the end of the two years, all of them uh, have to have a sustainable project that they live within the community.